Uh, I was explaining Paul to my wife last night, and I said he's really become the face. I didn't say it was a pretty one. I said he's become... We're taking up a hair collection later, by the way. Just, I'll get to it. I said he has become the face of veterans for these dual wars and for our generation. I'm a 50-year-old male, as I said, son of a World War II era army captain, and we've been handed our own generation's challenge. And, um, well, let's bring him up. You know him. Paul Reichoff, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. Thank you very much. Thank you for continuing to bring attention to the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. And, and since you did just come home from your, your own trip to Afghanistan, I want to be the first to say welcome home. And Afghanistan must have been a nice break after all those health care town halls this summer. And uh, we won't talk about the boy in the balloon or anything else that folks might be covering. But as I look around the room tonight at the faces of new and old friends, I feel honored to be with you all. So on behalf of IAVA staff, board, and thousands of members nationwide, thank you for being here tonight. I especially want to thank our presenting sponsor, City, and our champion sponsors, Mr. Roger Altman, CNN, IAC, Fisher Brothers, MTV and CMT, Mr. and Mrs. Jonathan and, jo and Jennifer Soros, and Ms. Lynn Wasserman. Please give them all a round of applause. Now each year, we honor two innovators who've made exceptional contributions to our community. Tonight's incredible and inspirational honorees Van Toffler and J.R. Martinez are two leaders who are making a tremendous impact on the new veterans movement. Let's give a round of applause for both our honorees, please. I also, in advance, want to ask you to give a round of applause to the 60 amazing fifth graders from PS22 in Staten Island. They're really going to bring the house down, and they're somewhere up there eating a lot of pizza. You can hear them. And I would like to especially thank all the veterans joining us tonight. From 87-year-old World War II veteran Walter Bockenheimer to the to Vietnam veteran Ed Vick, to Iraq vet and Purple Heart recipient Corporal Aaron Mankin. <laughs> veterans, veterans of all generations are represented tonight. So will everyone who's ever worn our country's uniform please raise your hand right now and be recognized. Let's give them all a round of applause, please. We're truly humble, humbled by your service. Thank you. Now, 2009 has been a tough year. It brought incredible economic challenges, international instability, and the ongoing adversity of fighting two wars simultaneously. As a nation, America has been tested. But imagine struggling with your mortgage payments from a Humvee in Afghanistan. Picture the stress of keeping your job when you're on your third, maybe fourth deployment to Iraq. And imagine worrying about health care when you're suffering with a traumatic brain injury. That's what thousands of our troops and veterans are facing right now. And in this time of so much uncertainty, we want veterans across the country to know one thing. IAVA is here, and we've got your back.
whether it's in Washington, in the media, or on the ground in local communities nationwide. IAVA has built a robust network of Iraq and Afghanistan veterans. And in just one year, we've grown our membership by 74%. You can give it up for that. Now, IAVA has grown very quickly in just a few short years. We were born on the internet. We grew up on Capitol Hill, but we'll live on in our membership. And that membership surrounds us here tonight, and it's the heart of our movement. In 2009, this growing national movement took on a major challenge that it had been hurting veterans for decades, late VA health care budgets. Late budgets mean the VA can't build new facilities, they can't do research, they can't hire new doctors. So working with all generations of veterans, IAVA set out to change that. As a part of a year-long campaign, we used every weapon in our arsenal to change our country for the better. And after seven congressional testimonies, 125 meeting with meetings with legislators, 200 local outreach events, and 1,000 media appearances, we won that battle. And just a few weeks ago, I stood behind the president as he signed this historic reform into law. Now, this was the victory of 2009. The GI Bill was the victory of 2008, which will send hundreds of thousands of veterans to college. And since its rollout this fall, we've been working hard to make sure that every veteran can maximize this benefit. The VA wasn't stepping up, so IAVA had to, helping thousands of veterans go to school. We remind every single veteran that even when things get tough, we've got your back. And in just one year, we've seen our social community, community of veterans, this revolutionary tool that's created in partnership with the Ad Council, take shape and make a huge impact. With robust mental health resources and more than 200 unique groups, this is a place where veterans are supporting other veterans. Just recently, Daphne Dustin, a veteran from Lancaster, California, formed a group where veterans can post their contact information so anyone in immediate need can reach out to other veterans anytime, day or night. This type of support is especially critical in challenging times like last week's Fort Hood tragedy. But don't take my word for it. Take it straight from a community member of ours. Fran Wiedenhoff is from Madison, Wisconsin, and she was hitting a wall after her third deployment. She felt alone. She felt isolated. She felt like nobody knew where she was coming from. And that's when she found IAVA. Fran put it like this. I found a community, a community, friends, support, good advice, constructive criticism, and networking. This site saved my life more than once when I couldn't remember why I was carrying on. As Fran's words illustrate, in these times of need, we've got your back. And that's also the theme of the bold new public service announcement that you're about to see. Last year at this very event, we launched this historic multi-year veteran support campaign with Alone, the now iconic commercial featuring two vets shaking hands on an empty New York street corner. One of those veterans, Brian Adams, is here with us tonight. You can give it up. We've started to call him Hollywood in the last year. The other veteran, Todd Bowers. You can give it up for Bowers. You saw him in that video, and many of you know him. Right now, he's somewhere in the mountains of Afghanistan, serving as a staff sergeant in the Marine Corps. Last year, he was in this room. Now, he's on his fourth deployment since 9-11. But his parents, Carol and John, are with us tonight. So please give them a round of applause. We love you guys. And if you think a Marine's tough, you've never met a Marine's mother. But to Todd, we want you to come home safe, man. We're thinking of you here, and we're having a Jack Daniels for you. And since today is November 10th, I want to wish Todd, all the Marines here tonight, and anybody watching on the webcast, a very happy 234th Marine Corps birthday. 5. Now, 
Now, before I show you the groundbreaking new PSA, I want to leave you with a challenge. 2010 will be a defining year for America, but especially for the two million veterans who served in Iraq and Afghanistan. And as discussions circulate around strategies, tactics, troop numbers, we have a duty to remind the American people that no matter where you're from, no matter how you feel about the wars, as Americans, you have a moral obligation to support those who've served. And every American can help, every single American. And IAVA will be here to lead that charge. In this critical time, you can show veterans nationwide that we've got their back. Make an investment in IAVA. Make an investment in our veterans and our families. And make an investment in our country. Together, we can build on the momentum in this room tonight and make every single day Veterans Day. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Thank you for your support. And with that, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all very much. There's more. There's more. Not much, but really good stuff. And with that, I am very proud to give you right now the world premiere of IAVA's newest public service announcement, CAMO. Coming home can be hard if you're a veteran of Iraq or Afghanistan. You may feel like you're all alone, but at IAVA.org, your fellow vets are all around you. Join our free online community just for veterans. IAVA.org, we've got your back.